Good morning friends. Welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing good. Staying home, staying safe and here I am starting my day mowing the snow. So as I mentioned in my last video that uh, we're gonna have a snowfall. So this snow is actually not stopping from last couple of days. Yesterday I did went outside clean the driveway but then here I am again. I thought let me at least just clean my side of the driveway so in case if I want to go somewhere my car can get out. Thank God that we do have the garage so the car stay inside so I don't have to clean the car otherwise that is again the big job and this job actually looks easy or it looks fun to do it but believe me guys it's not fun at all. Here I am wearing at least three or four layers of clothes and it was so cold because still the snow is coming. So as soon as I came inside I had a cup of chai and then kids went outside and finished the job. But of course, as I say, the snow is not stopping at all. Here, as you can see, it's still coming. And we're going to have a relief uh, for maybe a day or two. But then again, next weekend, more snow is coming. So all these things, it looks really nice. If you are staying inside, watching from the window, it is such a nice thing to enjoy this. Especially with the cup of chai and just have a blanket and look outside. It is so nice. But believe me, it is so cold right now. And when I was out there just for a few minutes, my hands were getting so cold. So I went inside. But as you can see, the snow is still coming. So as soon as I came inside, had a chai, went and took a shower. And then here I am cleaning the morning time um, you know all those breakfast uh, dishes and everything i was just cleaning that and usually i don't accumulate all these dishes in the sink because i like to take care of it right away but since i was going outside i thought let me just finish the outside work and then i'll take care of this but right after i came inside after having tea it wasn't enough so i had to go and take a shower but someone asked me how I clean this stuff. So I do have a separate video which I'm going to link it down below. But to clean the counters, the stoves, dining table, the cabinets, everything, I use this reusable wipes. Now these wipes I buy it from Dollar Tree. They are dollar uh, and you get 10 in this package. I always have a backup for this. They are so soft because you know we don't want to have scratches on the counters or the cabinets. So for that, these wipes are so good. So uh, you can find this at the Dollar Tree. And that's what I use to clean even my stove also. And uh, it cleans really well. So I always have a backup for those. And once that is done, the kitchen is clean. Now my second part of the job start and that is to make a lunch. So today I'm making chili garlic lacha parada. Guys, if you are a fan of garlic, definitely try this recipe. So as you can see, it's almost 12.30. And here I have uh, two cup of wheat flour, regular chapati yata. Into that I add salt to taste as well as two teaspoon oil. I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything properly and the consistency of this dough should be chapati atta and then I'm gonna let this rest for about 10 minutes or so and on this other side I do have all the other ingredients ready so I have some uh, mint leaves, dhania patta, green chilies, garlic and the butter. Now butter I'm using salted butter as well as it should be room temperature. Instead of butter you can use ghee and uh, mint leaves it's optional if you don't like the flavor of it you don't need to add it so first of all i'm gonna go ahead and combine all these ingredients first so now i'm gonna add green chilies into this green chilies is up to you how spicy you want it these are the thai green chilies so they are very spicy and next i'm gonna add some chopped garlic into this as well as the mint leaves and the coriander leaves I'm gonna go ahead and mix all this and as you see here I'm not adding any salt at all because the butter has the salt uh, and also when I made the dough I did also add the salt in there so now the mixture is ready so first of all I'm gonna roll this and it should be uh, very thin like chapati so size is basically up to you how uh, big you want it
So now I'm going to go ahead and apply this mixture that I made it and you do want to apply like evenly everywhere but you can leave about inch or so from the edge. So when we roll it, we can roll it properly. So as you can see here, it's evenly spread it. Now I'm going to go ahead and roll this. To, to do that, you do want to hold it from one side. So basically lift and put it, lift and put it. I wish I can explain this uh, properly. But as you can see, that's all you need to do is so you want to lift from one side and then just put it together. So once all the layers are together, then you want to hold one end and start tucking it inside just like I'm doing here. And at the end, instead of putting next to it, you want to tuck it inside. So as you can see here, this is the end part and you want to tuck it inside and then just press gently. And also I'm going to add some cilantro as well as the mint leaves on top and then you want to dust some flour on it and then just go ahead and start rolling it. When you roll it, you want to be very gentle with it. And uh, once you cook it, believe me, all you can see all the layers, they will be so flaky because we have enough butter in there. So definitely guys, give this recipe a try. Um, I'm actually a big fan of garlic. Um, so if you can find actually the green garlic, you can add that also in here. Um, since I didn't have the green garlic, I just used the other one, but uh, you can make this with the green garlic also. So you can cook this paratha on low to medium flame just like we cook other parathas and uh, I'm not going to use any oil or ghee for this. Since we already have enough butter in there, we don't need to add any extra. But believe me guys, the moment this paratha hit the tawa and the smell of garlic is everything. Especially if you are like a garlic ke shaukin ho na, to ye recipe jarur try karna. Agar aapko green garlic milta hai, to usse bhi aap bana sakte ho. Usually, I wo frozen mein rakhti hu, par aaj mere paas wo nahi tha. To koi bhi garlic hai, doesn't matter, aap ye recipe zaroor try karna. Especially ye thandi ke maasam mein, aise garma garam parathe, wo bhi spicy thode bane the, kyunki green chilies mein add ki hai. To spicy bane the, to aap usko achar or even simple yogurt ke saath bhi serve kar sakte ho. I have just made a chai with it. I have enjoyed it with it. And I also like it a lot. Because today, the kids are also little. They don't have school. They also enjoy this They also enjoy this paratha a lot. So, this was our lunch today. And I have made my paratha here. I also cleaned my kitchen here. क्योंकि हमेशा से मेरी वो आदत रही है कि साथ साथ में जो भी काम है ना वो मैं निपटाती जाती हूँ तो फिर बाद में इतना रहता नहीं है ना अदरवाइज तो फिर बहुत हो जाता है और आजकल ठंडी के मौसम में ऐसा होता है कि यार चलो फटाफट काम खत्म करो सोफे पे बैठ जाओ बस तो ये था आज का हमारा लंच तक का रूटीन तो आई होप आपने आज का व्लॉग जो मेरा है इन्जॉय किया है Thank you so much for watching. Take care guys. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.